All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. I just thought I'd do a video today on the state, uh, levels or types of Kundalini awakening. And this is not to say that any experience is kind of better or on a higher level necessarily than others. Everybody's awakening experience is right for and tailored for them at the specific time they have it. Um, I just feel there's sometimes quite a bit of confusion around what a Kundalini awakening is and how people are defining it. Because there's lots of different types of spiritual awakening and certain types of energetic awakening. Um, and Kundalini is one of them. Uh, and probably the most, well, I think it's the most powerful awakening um, experience we can get at this uh, level of reality, in this kind of 3D level of reality. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through the different types or levels of, of the awakening as I see it. This is from my perspective, this is from my experiences and listening and talking to others. Um, so I think the mildest type or level of Kundalini awakening that you can have is, say, Somebody might um, be meditating or, yeah, they, yeah. for example, they might be in meditation and they might feel like a little tingling moving up the spine. They might feel some energetic symptoms, some energetic opening of the heart. Um, or they might have like some spontaneous movement, very mild, very gentle, say in, in meditation or during yoga. That to me is like a very mild kundalini kind of some of the energies activating if you think about the kundalini energy as uh like you can use the, the metaphor of the different states of water so if you imagine that generally kundalini energy is like in a frozen state it's at the, in the base of the spine but below the base of this below the base of the spine actually energetically speaking and it's frozen and in that example that i've just given it's maybe like there's been a little bit of heat applied to it and a tiny bit of that frozen mass has evaporated. You know, like if you heat water, if you heat ice, it'll turn to water and then evaporate. And that's kind of that feeling that somebody's got that little feeling. So that's the sort of most gentle, softest level. Um, and I would just call that a mild Kundalini um, release or something like that. Then you have the level where the energy can like fully awaken at the, at the base of the spine and it will move through the body. You will get all sorts of symptoms while that's happening. Uh, if you wanna check out Kundalini symptoms, I've got a video diving specifically into that. Um, and the energy will move, um, maybe it'll move to a certain chakra, maybe it'll get to the heart chakra or wherever, it'll get somewhere in the body. Um, you will experience these symptoms and then the energy will come back down and it will shut off and then the energy is not active in the body. Um, and then there's the, and, and then there's the, on that same kind of level almost, but it's where it actually completes. So what I mean by that is the energy will awaken, it will move through the body, it will move at the central channel, you will have a crown chakra opening and often this will be an experience of merging with complete, you know, merging with oneness, understanding that you are oneness, you are the alpha and omega, you are the all. Um, some, on some level you're an aspect of it, <laughs> um, but you are it as well. And you'll have that awakening and then the energy will shut down in the body that, that could, you know, last half an hour, it could last hours, whatever. You have that completion of the of the process, and then the energy shuts down. And then the third type of awakening. Um, so, so I would call that an activate. I would class that as like a kundalini activation. It's like the energies are woken, and there's there's some yeah, it's 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 done that. So it's either completed or it's got to a certain place, and then once it's done that, it's off in the body again. It's kind of shut down. And then the third. Uh, level or type um, which is what I would consider like a full Kundalini awakening um, that is when the energy lets that frozen energy um, is completely turned to steam and it's just blasting through the body and it's 
like permanently on in the body. It's, it's fully awoken. It's no longer in any sort of dormant or asleep state. Um, it's, it's fully on, it's fully activated. And that is what I would consider um, like a full Kundalini awakening. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's actually got to that completion point, but it means it's fully awoke, it's on in the body and it's going through the process um, of clearing out everything in the body, clearing out all the emotional dross, all the physical issues in the body. Um, and it's working towards that point of completion. Um, and when it gets to that point of completion, it will be um, a permanent state. So once it, when it gets there, uh, the energy will be permanently flowing through the body. Um, I have spoke about this in another video, but I like to um, talk about in the, in the Bible, uh, Christ says, my cup overfloweth. This is what he's talking about in my opinion. The energy is permanently on, it's completed, and it's, um, it's like that overflowing cup. If you look at the Ace of Cups tarot card, that's very symbolic of this in my opinion. It's flowing up through the central channel, in that kind of Taurus like position back in and you've got that com continuous flow of the energy. So I just thought I'd do a little video to to lay this out for people. As I said at the beginning, this is my opinion, this is my understanding and how I kind of see the terms. You've got this sort of mild activation, this uh, as one level where you just might feel a tiny little energetic symptom or you might have a certain awakening experience energetically. Then you've got the level with the Kundalini um, activates and either goes to a certain level, a certain chakra, and then goes back down, or it completes, uh, so to speak, and then comes back down. And then you've got the third, which is like the full-blown Kundalini awakening, when the energy is permanently on, it's completely awoken, and it's not you know, going back to sleep, it's, or not going dormant for a period, it's fully active, fully flowing through the body, and it's moving to that completion state, um, but the completion state won't be a temporary experience, it will be a permanent state of completion. And so yeah, that's that's generally how I see it. So I thought I'd just do a little video to share that and hopefully that's helpful for some people who are going through this experience and want to kind of feel into what what's going on for them. All right, much love. All right, speak soon, bye.